Who's ready to talk some crap? Huh? All right, well, I am Jim Park. I'll be your tour guide on this deputation proclamation known as the Poop Talk, or in the life circles, we call it the process of elimination. Mm -hmm. So if you think this is beautiful, or this, or this, then don't just make do, do it right! <laughs> But, all, right. all right, do the wilderness a solid <clears throat> and leave no trace, all right? Smooth move, right? This is not, these are puns, work with me. <laughs> this is not what we want to see out there, okay? A little later in this presentation, I'm going to give you an example of a cat hole. This is an example of an a-hole. Don't be that guy, all right? Turn to the person next to you and tell them, don't be that guy. Go ahead. Oh, don't be that guy. Alright, all right. this is the only chocolate lily we want to see out there in the wilderness. Proper prepping and planning for performing the perfect poo. Tell somebody that you're leaving if you got to do your thing. I know some of you are kind of shy and you don't want the rest of us to know that you actually poo. I have bad news for you, or you know. <laughs> and uh, so if you're the shy type and you think maybe you can just sneak away and they wouldn't have noticed I went and uh, you know we're hiking along and oh, I'll be able to catch up and next thing you know we're off like a prom dress and you're lost and now we're hunting for you you know till nightfall comes we're pooped you're pissed and there's a buttload of paperwork to be filled out so please before you leave to do your business tell somebody that you're taking off okay we're kind of anal about knowing where you are. <laughs> what do I bring? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Properly preparing a professional poop pouch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you haven't heard the bad news, uh, we actually pack all of our toilet paper out of the wilderness, okay? You can leave the business there, but the paper comes with you when you leave. And that's what the double Double set of Ziploc bags are for, okay? Which brings me to the first point, why you have an opaque bag to put it all in. Because we don't want to see your anything, okay? We don't want to see it. You want to have an opaque bag, TP, a trowel, your double double Ziploc bags, okay? Double, why double? Because we don't want any backlog, just make sure, make sure. Hand sanitizers and wipes and whatever else you think you need to get the job done. So trowels, what kind of trowels are out there? So here's a few different ones. This is called the You Dig It. It folds down real nice like this, but it is kind of heavy. This guy over here doesn't fold down at all, but it's a little lighter. I like this one in between because it folds down and it's pretty light. There's a metal version and there's a plastic version. So, choose your weapons. Paperwork. <clears throat> okay, well since we're bringing all of our toilet paper out, you don't even worry about buying special $88 toilet paper. Any toilet paper will do, okay? Because you're going to bring it home with you. Fuck you. <laughs> well, my daddy said if I can wipe my butt with a leaf. <laughs> okay. So, let's play Wipeout. <laughs> so, who thinks they can identify the difference between poison oak and basket bush? I'll give you a hint. One of these is poison oak, and one of these is basket bush. So, who'd like to take a guess and say that this one here is poison oak? Any takers? Any takers? All right. There was one. Any other takers? Anybody else? No? All right. One more, one more. Long shot. Okay. You're dying to know? Who, who, thinks, who thinks the other one is uh, poison oak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, I got friends to do this too. So who got a hand up? Who got a hand up? Can you close? Somebody far? I don't even care who gets <laughs> These are baby roots. If you've ever seen Caddy Chad, this makes more sense. <laughs> Flash for you. What? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of messing with you there. Uh, and the point of it is, don't make this any harder than it has to already be, okay? Um, wiping your butt with leaves 
is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, just go with what you know. Alright? <laughs> Sanitizers. Just because we get a little dirty out there doesn't mean you have to be nasty, and if you're nasty, you keep your paws out of my trail mix, alright? <clears throat> so there's a couple of different ways you can do the sanitizer thing. There's little there's little there's little packages, but uh, my daughter was nice enough to bring a whole bunch of these tonight, so hands up, alright? Here's a few of these. Pass them around, keep them whatever they are. They are a little girly. I won't throw any more. You guys just don't get up here when you're done, all right? Hand sanitizer. Something cool about hand sanitizers, too, this stuff makes a really good accelerant. So if you have to start a fire with a, with a spark or something, put this on a little bit of tinder and uh, you'll have a fire going in no time. Where do I go? <laughs> That's yours truly. <laughs> On Mount Whitney, and uh, I have my best friend Ruben to thank for this photographic uh, excellence right here. Thank you, thank you, Ruben. Love you, man. For friends like you, Looney's animals. <laughs> <clears throat> so you want to find a good spot, somewhere secluded. Nobody want to see you doing your business. We want to be about 200 feet or more away from water. Okay. Not in a water drainage anywhere where you think the creek's going to go later. 200 feet from camp, maybe 300 for some of you, I don't know. <laughs> and down the from camp, please. Okay. So, hint, this is not a good spot. This is a bad spot, okay? All right. So, find a log and you make a little stool. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, now here's, here's an important point in one of the many differences between going at home and going out in the wilderness. When you're out in the wilderness, when you're, when you're home, you put your pants around your ankles, right? When you're in the wilderness, you want to put them around your knees. Why? I'll show you. <laughs> but I will show you. Check this out. See where the aim is? See? See? You don't want your drawers here. You want your drawers up here. All right? All right? That's how you do it. That way you don't get any extra little Easter eggs in the basket. You know what I'm talking about? Turn to the person next to you and tell them, pants around your knees, man. Pants around your knees. All right. If you just have to pee, listen, any place will do. You don't have to dig a hole in nothing. For everything else, you dig a six to eight inch cat hole. So welcome to the cat hole. Why six to eight inches deep? The soil microflora that break down organic matter live primarily in that upper little chunk, kind of where plant roots tend to be. So don't be digging some three foot hole. Just six inches is fine. Six inches is fine. <laughs> and assume the position. You got the full squat. You got the half squat. The overbite. This is choice. If you can find the middle thing, this is. This is Secondarily partial to that one, but this is prime. <laughs> okay, and get her done. Get her done. That's the spruce piece right there. <laughs> Finishing touch. Use a stick if your aim was a little off. You know, the, the Wayne Gretzky kind of thing. Double back your TP, bury everything else completely, and cover your cattle with a rock. So here's a hint. If you see a rock sitting right on the surface, <laughs> Move away. That's your hint. All right, so some places like Mount Whitney or even the Grand Canyon, um, maybe if you're ever going to get into serious caving, you have to pack everything out. I mean, you can pee where you want, but you got to pack it all out. And yes, it's exactly what you think I mean. Let me introduce you to the wag bag, or the gag bag, I like to call it. They will give this to you at the ranger station, and you go on this little tarp, and you bind it up, and you keep it with you. And it's called a wag bag, because it does this on the back of your hat, like an incense thingy. And I find that impulsive. I do. Let me give you a better alternative. This is just me. See these? Heads up, I'm throwing this, all right? Pass it around. 
pass it around. Something like this, it's, it's just my thought, all right? Pass that around, so just something light. It's light, hair tight, and out of sight. And if you're gonna be on with me for four days, maybe you don't wanna be using a lag bag. In my opinion, and I'm right. Why go to all this trouble? Because it's your duty. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, I love this part. I love this part. So I got a story to tell you, okay? So I was taking WBC back a few years ago. I'm standing up here and I'm talking to this lady. I've known this lady for all of maybe now like two freaking minutes. Two. All right? And this is what this lady says to me. It's crazy broad. This is what she says. She says, It's so cold outside. I am not going out there. And I now, and I win, and I lose my pet. Oh my god, I just put on a diaper and forget about it. <laughs> I swear this happened. <laughs> I couldn't believe I mean, this, this lady was nutty as a squirrel turd. And I know you think I'm maybe going to tell you who that was, but that would be like a, a defecation of character. So <laughs> Perhaps a better idea. Yeah, this is a Nalgene bottle with a big letter P on it. And this works great inside of a tent if you don't want to get up and go outside. I highly recommend this. And here's where the ladies are thinking, Oh yeah, it's really easy for you to say, <laughs> Mr. Man, with your stupid outdoor plumbing. <laughs> well, you're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce you to the go girl. I'm not saying you're going to be able to write your name in the snow with this or anything, but you know, <laughs> pair well with a D bottle, okay? I don't know, maybe this could be more for some of you guys. Maybe not cold to get out there. <clears throat> but, um, I know. I know. So, there's a lot of different products that kind of do this same thing, and uh, I assure you I've tried zero of them, so. Talk to the ladies about this. And while we're on the topic, in case your timing isn't perfect for your trip, you know what they say, or late and pregnant, uh, <laughs> all I'm going to say that, that, that there's a lot of versions of this out there as well. Uh, this eliminates the need to pack anything out. Do the math. Moving on. <laughs> Keeping it clean. All right, so there's a million different ways you can clean your, your, your hands, your whatever, your dishes, etc. There's a lot of biodegradable products out there. One guy, Pat Hall, who actually got me into WBC in the first place, he likes this little product, and he said he's able to brush his teeth with it, wash his dishes with it, everything, everything, so you can carry one thing and do it all. That's cool, that's smart. Washing option. So this is a this is a, what is a ten liter I think bucket that folds down like to something the size of a pack of cigarettes if you have to do dishes, uh, and then your wastewater goes in a cat hole just like the other stuff. All right. Personal hygiene. This stuff is awesome. I can't say enough great stuff about this. Dump it in your socks, put it in your shoes, and when you get to camp that night, you've been hiking all day long, and you pull off your boots, your feet are not going to smell like your butt. And <clears throat> because it keeps your feet drier, you're way less likely to get blisters, all right? And uh, this is also really handy for, you know, anywhere else that you might get a little funky. Clean up on all four. So this is not a bad way to knock off the barnacles after a day of hiking. But if you really are a clean freak, there's actually showers out there that you can bring with you and hang and shower, etc. Just remember, you got to carry the weight. All right, there's uh, little, little tiny mini towels that are super absorbent on the market. Um, for food preparation and cleanup. Now, you can bring pots and pans and dishes and all that crap, that's cool. I, I just dump the water right into this thing because I am lazy. And you run out of the bag, and guess what? That bag goes right in my trash bag, and I pack it out, done. No dishes to do. Dude, tic-tac, all right? Bring this stuff. 
I mean, I don't care if you bring this stuff. If you're on my trip, bring this stuff. <laughs> All the ultralight is going, oh my god, it looks so heavy. Oh, look at the weight. Dude. This weighs about as much as a fart, but your breath won't smell like one, all right? This is worth the weight. Bring this stuff. See? Not that hard. There's worse jobs. All right, guys, you can do this. Now, they are, uh, they are pointing me out and telling me to pinch it off, so I'd love to stand here and talk to you guys all night, but I'm pooped. You guys look white, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys.